let's have a quick conversation about how to remove yourself from uh, Radaris. And uh, Radaris is actually a, a database that actually tracks people's uh, info. And uh, it's important to really uh, remove your info if you don't like what they have on you or if you just want to have more privacy. Okay, so here's a summary. When you think about Radaris or Radaris, you have to really understand that uh, it's uh, this is actually the largest data broker site, one of the largest data broker sites in the country. And they have a data sets uh, containing billions of personal records, not millions, billions with a big, with a with the big B, okay? And including, uh, they have uh, everything from full names, social media profiles, email, email addresses, and uh, phone numbers. And they also have employment history, criminal records, property information, and even personal images, okay? So basically, if that's you, if, if you listen to me right now, that means what? That means that they've got your name, Radaris has got your name, your full name, your social media profile information, your email address, phone numbers, your 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 your, your, your everything. Okay, and it's important to really understand that uh, Radaris. The problem with Radaris is not because uh, they've got all that info. The problem is, God forbid, if they were ever hacked, think about what kind of uh, bonanza hackers will have will have access to. I mean, your data, my data, your social your social security number, your personal information is actually uh, pretty pretty uh, vulnerable there. Okay. And uh, so the thing is that uh, having this level of personal information easily accessible online can really open you up to spam, telemarketing, and even identity theft. But perhaps more worrisome is who is behind the company. And uh, so a lot of folks are saying that, that Radaris is owned by a group of private investors. But the problem is that Radaris has, has been actually engulfed in a couple of uh, lawsuits uh, recently. And it's, it's one of those things where you have to really ask yourself, well, you know, is your data actually uh, protected? Because actually in 2023, for instance, Radaris actually faced a class action lawsuit for violating violating the Illinois Rights of uh, Publicity Act. And in 2024, they had a lawsuit for violating the Daniels Law Statute. So you've got a lot of vulnerabilities there. So if you, you got to watch this show because I, I'm going to show you how to really remove yourself from Radaris and start protecting your info and, and that's something you have to ask yourself now when you remove yourself how to make sure they actually follow suit to make sure that your data is completely removed so let's talk about the methods here how do you remove your personal information from Radaris now the thing is that Radaris makes its uh, opt-out process straightforward it's one of those things where you know they actually trying to really razzle dazzle you telling you hey listen you can remove your info, everything is fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just get it done. But it's not really as straightforward. I mean, it, uh, there is a di there's a difference between the reality that they're, I mean, uh, the the theory, what they're telling you and the, and the reality, okay? And uh, the, the company's a triple B profile is littered with compl with complaints from users who claim, who claim that Radaris doesn't com comply with all deletion requests. And uh, so that's a, that, that's a bit of a concern here because uh, previously, the company allowed users to delete specific records or even make their profiles private. And that's one thing that you, you could try to really uh, attempt also. But Radaris has moved to a single opt-out process lately that you can access in a couple of ways, including remove my info, do not sell my info. So the, that's, the, the, that's the first option. And control the information from your profile. So those are the, the two primary two primary uh, options that you can have. If you're thinking about removing your personal information from Radaris this year, okay? And the thing is that the the, uh, the platform actually has uh, revamped its uh, procedures during COVID where a lot of folks were home and folks were, were really uh, sort of concerned about the, the privacy or about their data. So it is what it is. Now, unless you live in a state where let's say with strict privacy laws, Radaris has no obligation to remove your personal records from its website maybe that's why when you ask them to remove uh the, your info they uh, they may actually do it or not do it okay there's also nothing stopping radaris from uh, opening up a new profile for you after you complete the deletion process so when you ask them you have to follow you have to follow up so option number one remove my info do not sell my info so at the bottom of the radaris homepage, click on remove my info to start the opt-out process if you have logged into a Radaris account, you can click on do not sell my info. You can also uh, go to the opt-out page via, we're showing this on the screen, so radaris.com control privacy. And uh, so each path brings you the same opt-out form, which contains several pages of information about data brokers and Radaris data collection process. 
So to move forward, and, and, and this is really important, you need to verify your age and identify your personal page either by searching for your name or entering your profile URL if you already had that. And if there are a few more pages of information, click on start removing and that will kick off the process. Okay, start removing. Eventually, you need to enter an email address to which Radaris will send a confirmation link and code and check the CAPTCHA box and click on submit. Next, what you want to do here is that you, you have to really understand that when you go to a page, when, when you go to a, a CAPTCHA page, you got to always ask yourself that you are providing information to them, your email address, and that email can actually go into another database where they actually will sell your data to third party, to, to third party brokers, data brokers. Okay. And, uh, but listen, this is, this is what you have to do. If you want to go for the, for the, for the first option, remove my info, do not sell my info. Now remove my info and do not, my, do not sell my info. Those are two different, uh, two different paths, but most people, I mean, Radaris has made it as if, uh, they're, they're one, but no, remove my info you can say listen just remove my info completely or do not sell my info in other words you can keep my info but do not sell my info now the thing is that uh, you gotta really you gotta really follow up a second time to tell them do not sell my info if for any reason they do not actually remove your info because as i said as i said a little earlier they're not under any uh, legal obligation to remove their uh, to remove uh, your info from their database so if you realize that they haven't removed your info at least you can try to tell them listen do not sell my info. Now, you know, it, I don't want you to sell my info to third party data brokers. And really, uh, so I, I don't want people to call me at, at midnight about telemarketing, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, once you actually uh, send, uh, you once you enter your email, they will send you a, a link and confirmation code. So follow the confirmation link in your email, check the uh, CAPTCHA box and click on submit to complete the removal process. And Radaris claims that the process can take up to 24 or 48 hours to finalize. Well, we actually investigated and we investigated this for the last uh, five years now. We did it before COVID. We did, it, we did it during COVID and we did it after COVID. We realized that it took longer. I mean, in some cases, uh, it took like uh, seven days, one week. In some cases, it took longer after many, many follow-ups before they actually removed it. But they eventually will remove your name if you keep following up. So that that that's the most important thing to remember. So. It's all about, you know, you pressing them. If you realize that, hey, listen, you know, I've asked my, my data to be removed, but you, but you guys haven't actually, uh, you know, listened to my instructions and my private data is still uh, on your website and you guys are making money off of it. So this is something you have to really, I mean, you have to be uh, persistent and, and you have to insist. Okay. Very important. I want to talk to you now about option two. So option num number one, remove my info, do not sell my info. Option number two, control the information from your profile. In other words, you're asking them, listen, you know, you can keep my info because for some reason you, you do not want to uh, remove the info. But basically you're asking the radaris now to uh, control what gets into the, the profile. In, in other words, the input, you have more, more autonomy there. So that's really important. So you can also get the opt out page from your profile. Start by searching your name on radaris.com and click click on uh, clicking on view profile. Even if, like when you find your your file, you gotta really make sure that this is your file because uh, some names are the same. You can have like if you if you have a name like uh, John John David, like a very a very very generic name. Be sure that that you are the one that you are clicking on. So if your name is common, add your city, state, and age to refine the results. Okay. And uh, next, you want to click on the arrow to next to the background and contact button. And from there, you want to click on control info. So control info actually is going to help you out because you're going to actually um, be more granular in terms of the data you are asking uh, Radaris to actually uh, keep like refine or tweak or, or what have you. Okay. It's important to really understand that the bottom line here is that you are, you have to be very granular and you have to be sure that you are the person that you that, that you want to I mean the person whose data you want to uh, you want to control you want to refine you want to tweak okay and so basically uh, so once you actually uh, click on control info control info this will bring you the same opt-out form as uh, I just showed you a little earlier okay and once you actually are there follow the steps provided to remove your profile from uh, from Radaris now in this case 
when you actually follow the steps, you're not going to remove your profile. You are just going to control the information on uh, on uh, Radaris. In other words, you tell them Radaris, say, listen, keep my data, but just change the fact that I was maybe uh, I went to school in this place or I was married. Uh, I was uh, married. You know, I'm married to this to this person, even though I divorced a couple of a couple of years ago, a couple of months ago, or I'm now working at, a, at, at this company. And you telling me that I'm still working at my old company. So this kind of uh, this kind of uh, minute details that may not be minute for some people, especially if you are trying to really, uh, you know, brand yourself. You you are in an industry where you really uh, well, where your reputation really matters a lot. Like let's say you are a consultant, or you are a lawyer, or you are um, a coach, and you know folks are just googling your name like day in and day out, and you just trying to make sure that you are controlling the output about uh, your, uh, your 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 name so what's the, what's the strategy here when we think about uh radaris opting opting out of radaris what to do if radaris will not remove your personal data because again you know radaris they are not under any obligation to to listen to you okay now here are a few steps i want to share with you that you can take if radaris is not responding to your removal request or basically they they are just uh, pretending to like they just um, pretending to uh to listen to you but they're not really uh, following suit they're not really following your instructions so you want to check your removal status online okay so th that's the first thing you want to head to uh, the radaris removal status page and you want to enter the verification code that was sent to your email so that you can get an update of your opt-out request because this is actually a permanent link that will uh that will, will always uh revolve around your uh, Radaris opt-out request and you also want to try to email Radaris directly it's one of those things where you know listen if you try if you try automatically automatically through uh, the online opt-out page and they're not really uh, listening to you you can also ask for an update by emailing we're gonna put this on the screen so there are actually two emails you have to always remember so you have removals that's plural removals at radaris.com or customer customer dash service at radaris.com so customer we're going to put this on the screen both both emails will put those on the screen so customer dash service radaris at radaris.com so and then you have to put the details of your opt-out request so when you email uh those uh those email inboxes you want to uh, put the, the details of, the, of your request because those are general gen, general inboxes and you want to make sure that whoever is actually looking into your file has all the data to actually proceed and you can also sign up you can sign up for a data broker removal service so dealing with with uh, radaris and other data brokers can take time and effort so this is uh you have to really see what works for you and uh basically see if you can maybe have a third party take care of it you can maybe uh, reach out to uh, an identity uh, theft prevention uh, service and uh, so that you can actually uh, you know get your data removed professionally so when we talk about how to remove your data from uh, radaris the uh, the ancillary element here is that you need to actually start thinking about how to keep your personal information off of people's search sites radaris you have uh, other players you have you have been verified. You have a uh, Truth Finder. You have WhitePages.com. You have uh, uh, Spokio. So you have a, a lot of sites, right? So it's all about making sure that you are protecting your uh, your uh, your privacy, your private data, your private information proactively. You know, no more no more preventive uh, measures. No more no more trying to react to uh, things after they happen. No, now you're taking you're taking charge. You're doing things proactively. So with no federal regulations governing data brokers, there is no surefire way. To remove your personal information from data directories and even in california where the california consumer privacy act the ccpa gives people the right to stop the sale of private data data brokers often make it challenging to opt out because you know this is this is in their in interest because they, they make money off of that data so while opting out of that radaris can improve your privacy you also have to worry about your information ending up on other data broker data broker websites right from again, as I said before, from uh, Spokio and being verified to Truthfinder and WhatPages.com, and so one of the best ways to keep your data secure, your personal data secure, is to actually minimize the information that brokers can access in the first place. 
that's that goes back to what i said about being proactive right so you, what you want to do is you want to reduce how much information you share online so whenever you create an account or let's say sign up for an online service think twice about what information you provide and whenever possible try not to share personal data personal details on social media and make sure you have updated your privacy settings to prevent data being sold or shared because folks are constantly sharing or selling data. That's that's how this business works. You also want to remove information, let's say from search engine results. So if your personal data shows up in Google search results, you can use Google Google's content removal, removal form to request that your information is removed. That's totally possible. And uh, basically note that this won't remove the content from the website where it's hosted, but that you will have to contact the site directly. You can also review your permissions and privacy settings. And uh, so many of the apps and online accounts have permissions. They have permissions and uh, privacy settings that allow them to uh, track and share your, your location, account information and activity. That's really what it is. I mean, this is a uh, this is a uh, disappointing, but it is, it is what it is. And you want to go through this settings and ensure that your private information rem remains private. OK, very important. Next, what you want to do here is that if you if you're trying to uh, keep your personal information off of people uh, people search sites, you can opt out of direct marketing list. This is actually another source of uh, of uh, information for data brokers. Okay, and so by opting out by opting out of direct marketing list, what happens here is that you are cutting back on the amount of info sharing that occurs with your data. So you can manage how much promotional mail you receive at uh, dmachoice.org and block credit card insurance offers by visiting optoutprescreen.com. We actually uh, did a, a, a video on that uh, subject not long ago, so you can go to uh, that video and really, you know, dig a little more. I mean, if you if you want more information, let us know in the comment section and we'll either direct you to that email that in that video that we did, or we can just uh, answer or any questions that you might have. You can also use uh, anti tracking and data masking tools. This is actually something that that's uh, really, really a uh, prevalent. It's really prevailing, really, uh, even though a lot of folks don't use it. But some people use anti tracking software. So the cool thing is that anti tracking uh, software can block websites from tracking your activity and collecting your information in the first place. So you can also block ads, cookies, you can decline cookies. OK, and you can mask your information by using throw away email addresses and phone numbers. So the bottom line here is that you have the possibility to get things done a lot faster and a lot a lot smarter and you can also get data breach alerts so the faster you find out if your information has been leaked the more effectively you can you can actually mitigate and that any damage that any potential damage right and so it's one of those things where if your data if your data your data integrity is kind of quite essential for you you can uh, sign up for the dark web monitoring to keep a continuous eye on your information or you can regularly check for leaks by using uh, an identity theft prevention tool, leaked password scanner. So you have a lot of players, a lot of uh, players in the industry that are offering that service, and that's 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 really good because it, it goes back to what I said about uh, being uh, proactive. Okay, instead of being uh, doing a reaction, trying to think about prevention, and that's going to help you also uh, establish a strong foundation around your data your data at the uh, at the at the end of the at the end of the day so now the thing is that uh, while you can perform each of these steps yourself and keep your information protected it can be a full-time job with hundreds of data brokers compiling your information in the united states alone so to help you stay safe and secure online consider getting help from the from privacy specialists at uh, identity theft protection software tools okay and uh, so that that's really good So in conclusion to this conversation, I spoke to you about Radaris uh, opt out. And uh, so I'll give you the summary, the methods, the strategy, and now the conclusion. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.